Hey everybody, Pierre Quinn here, and I teach emerging leaders how to courageously begin the journey to personal and professional transformation. And in this video, I wanna teach you the one question that you need to avoid as a leader whenever you're having a meeting with your team. We've all been there before. We've pulled back the curtain and unveiled our vision, we've strategized around a problem, or we started to think about a new initiative. And after we lay our cards on the table, after we bear our souls, and after we share our big dream, we take a step back, look into the eyes of the people in the room, and ask them, so what do you think? This is a terrible, terrible question to ask your team. First, if you haven't created a culture in which people are comfortable having an opinion that's different from yours as a leader, you'll probably hear the answer that you really wanna hear. Another reason why this is a difficult question to ask is because it doesn't place the people in the room in the right position to elicit the response that you really need to hear to get moving down the road. Now, before I give you these four power questions to ask, understand you're not using these power questions to get your way. You're using them to get more ideas on the table, to get different perspectives, and to move forward in making the best decision. And sometimes that means we need to scrap your idea. That being said, here are four power questions that you need to ask your team whenever you're working on a new idea, a new initiative, or strategizing around a problem. Question number one, what are the details that we need to know? Now, the analysts in your group perk up when they hear this question. They're concerned about facts and figures, and they like to fill in all of the blanks. They thrive on information. The more details you can give them, the better. And if you don't have enough details, they'll let you know. A lot of times as leaders, we have these huge visions or huge solutions, but we're not necessarily concerned about the details. Ask your people, what are the details that we're missing? Power question number two, how will this decision impact our culture? The stabilizers in your group perk up when they hear this question. They're concerned about creating a warm, comfortable, cohesive working environment, and they want to know that the decisions that are being made will be best not just for you, not just for the team, but for everybody involved. They're very good guardians of culture. So asking them how this particular solution, this initiative, this plan will impact the culture will put them not only in protection mode, but it'll also put them in perspective mode. Power question number three, how do you think everybody's gonna feel when we do this? Your social butterflies in the room will perk up when they hear this question. They are concerned about people. They love conversation, they love interaction, and a lot of them have never met a stranger. These are the guardians of the social aspect of your organization. They're very emotive, they talk with their hands, and like to keep a pulse on relationships. If you want to know how people are going to feel about an idea or initiative, ask them to find out, and they'll go around asking everyone for feedback. Power question number four. Which part of this do you wanna take the lead on? There's some people on your team that are drivers, they're commanders. They get stuff done by putting their hands and getting a handle on it. And you need to put these people in a position not only to perk up, but to take ownership of certain parts of the project. Understand that as a leader, you can't do everything by yourself and you shouldn't try. There are people in the room who are much more comfortable with certain aspects of things than you are and you gotta put them in a position to succeed. And one of the best ways to do that is to ask them, what do they wanna take the lead on? What do they want to take control over? So what are the details that we're missing? How will this decision impact the culture? How will people feel about it? And what do you want to take the lead on? These are four power questions to ask next time you meet with your team so that you can avoid asking that most dangerous question. So, what do you think?